Good morning, everyone, and happy Monday. My name is Princess Penelope, Princess of the Peacocks here in Winter Park. Thank you so much for joining us for today's Peacock Tales. We have a very special show prepared for you. But before we begin, let's do a craft together. We're going to make our very own Peacock Hand Puppets. So I'm going to list the supplies that you'll need. If you want to go ahead and pause the video so that you can gather everything, I'll be waiting right here when you return. Here are the supplies you'll need for today's craft. A paper lunch bag, scissors, a glue stick, a pencil, googly eyes, some feathers, they can be any color. These are the colors I chose, construction paper, and if you want, you can add some sequins to your puppet, but you don't need them. So we're going to start with our peacock friend's face. So first, let's give them some eyes. I'm gonna open up my package here. Now, luckily the googly eyes that I have are already sticky. So I just have to take them off the paper and put them on my puppet. But if your googly eyes aren't sticky, you can also use your glue stick to put them on. And if you don't have googly eyes, that's okay too. You can draw the eyes on for your peacock puppet. So let's go ahead and give this peacock friend some eyes. There's one. And two. All right, now our peacock friend needs a beak. So I'm going to use this white paper. And we're going to just draw a teardrop shape to give that beak. It looks kind of like a carrot. So I've drawn my carrot. If you need some help, ask someone to help you draw that shape. Then I'm gonna use my scissors. You may also need help with this step too. So get someone to help you cut out the beak. All right, there we go. We've got just the shape we need. So we don't need that white paper anymore. <gasps> Starting to look like a bird to me. So we're gonna take our glue stick, add some glue to the back of the beak, rub that all along the back of the paper so it's nice and sticky and put it in place. There we go. All right, time for our next step. We need to give that peacock the signature tail feathers. So how are we going to do that? We're going to take our green construction paper, looks like this, and we're going to trace out the shape that we need, which is basically circular. So what I'm gonna do is draw a line in the corner of each part of this square. Again, if you need some help, you can ask someone who's there with you to assist you with this. And then I'm going to cut out these triangles that I've just made the markings. There we go. So now your shape looks something like this. We're gonna get rid of those triangles. We don't need them anymore. Let's put our peacock on top of its tail to see how it's looking. <gasps> oh, that's very nice. Now, I think my peacock's tail is a little too big, so I'm gonna trim it down a little bit.
I think that's better. Let's put that on. <gasps> yes, this is what I'm looking for. Okay, so we've got this beautiful tail. We're going to cut some little slits all around the circle. You can also call that the circumference. All around the outer edges of this circle to make it look like our peacock has individual feathers. Okay, now we're all done with that. So you can see my peacock tail has individual feathers. I'm gonna just bend a few of them back a little bit so that you can really see them. Oh, it's starting to look like a peacock. There we go. And then we're going to glue our peacock to its tail. So let's give the back of this some glue. I'm going to spread it all along the back and the peacocks to right about here. I'm coming down with the glue right to the middle of the bag. That should do it. And let's Stick that down. All right, and it's nice and attached. You can lift up your puppet to see, make sure that the tail is staying on. Ours seems like it's very secure. Okay, then we need to give our peacock it's crest feathers. So the crest feathers are those beautiful feathers you see on the peacock's head. So these are the three that I've chosen. Like I said, they can be any color. You can make them blue like a real peacock, but I wanted to make mine a little bit more colorful. So I've chosen pink and green. So we're just gonna put some glue down right at the center of the head to add those crest feathers. One there. A second there. And a third feather there. We're gonna press those down. Make sure that they're nice and sticky. All right, I think that did it. And then our last step, this is optional. If you wanna decorate your tail so that it has some of the characteristic markings of a peacock tail, you can add those on. You can use little sequins or rhinestones like I have here, or you can color some different markings on the peacock tail, that works great too. So I'm gonna take some of these bigger gemstones and put them around the tail. I think I'm going to add some of the dark blue as well, just to give it a few more colors. making my peacock extra sparkly. And there we go. Oops, that one wasn't sticky enough. Let's try this one. There we go. And there you have it. There is our finished peacock puppet. You put your hand in the bottom here and your peacock is on its way. All right, now that we have our peacock friend ready to go, I think we should sing our peacock welcome song. And let's use our friend. So, 
put your hand inside your puppet and move the mouth so that they can sing along. Now, if you've seen our show before, go ahead and feel free to sing the words with me. But if not, that's okay. You can use your hand puppet to mouth the words and follow some of the dance movements. Here we go. Oh, peacock, peacock, feathers so bright. Blue and green in Florida sunlight. Oh, peacock, peacock, wherever you are. In Winter Park, you're never too far. Great job and good singing, pal. Now you may be wondering, how could I become Princess of the Peacocks? Well, I thought I'd tell you this week in a song. Now you might recognize the melody to this song and if you do, feel free to sing along, but you can also follow the dance movements and if you've got an instrument at home, feel free to make some music along with me. I have my shaker today, so let's get started. Do you know this one? Sing along. Two peacocks settled in our town many years ago. Winter Park they loved so much, the flock began to grow. E today, I learned a lot of interesting facts about where this song came from. So the version that you may be very familiar with is The Lion Sleeps Tonight, which was in Disney's The Lion King and was very popular in the year 1961 when the group The Tokens sang it in a doo-wop style. But actually this song was originated in South Africa. So let's get out our handy dandy globe. All right, so this globe is a representation of our Earth. As you can see right here, this is the United States where we live. And we are currently in Florida, which is this state right here near the bottom of the United States. Now, if we spin the globe a little bit, we find Africa. 
which is this continent right here. Now, South Africa is also right at the bottom. Now, in South Africa, the location I just showed you on the globe, there lived a man named Solomon Linda, and he had a singing group called the Evening Birds. They sang in the a cappella style, which means they only used their voices together to make music, no instruments. When they created the song that you just heard me singing, there weren't words about the lion sleeping tonight or peacocks for that matter. They were singing the word umbube, which means lion. And that was the original title of the song, umbube. They recorded it in 1939. And when they recorded it, Solomon Linda improvised the melody that we all know and love. Now, what does improvise mean? He created that melody on the spot. They let him sing, and that's what he came up with in that moment. Isn't that incredible? So like I said, the song was recorded in 1939 and became massively popular all over South Africa. And eventually many different versions in many different styles were recorded all over and came to America in the version that we know today. I thought that was so interesting to learn, especially because it originated 81 years ago. And you can still listen to the recording if you go on YouTube. I highly recommend you listen to it. It's amazing to hear their voices joining together with that deep bass sound on the bottom and Solomon Linda's beautiful high voice on top. It's really something special. But I think it's just about time for us to read a story together today. Just like I told you about how the peacocks found their home with me, I'd like to tell you a story about how two other animal friends made their homes. Here we go. Kiki and Jack's The Life-Changing Magic of Friendship by Marie Kondo, co-written and illustrated by Selena Yoon. Kiki and Jack's were best friends, but they didn't always like doing things the same way. Jack's enjoyed sorting and Kiki enjoyed collecting. Kiki's collection of things grew and grew until she ran out of places to put them. So she packed her pine cones under the bed, stashed her nuts under the rug, and piled her clothes in the tub. When Jax came over, he asked, do you want to play soccer? Sorry, replied Kiki, I lost my ball. So Jax went home. Oh, Jax looks sad. The next day, Jax asked, do you want to go swimming? Sure, let me get my swimsuit, said Kiki. Kiki searched her dresser, her closet, and even her toy box, but she couldn't find it anywhere. So, Jax went home. He missed Kiki, but things got in the way. Maybe Kiki forgot we're friends, thought Jax. So he made something special to remind her. He put it in a box to take to her the next day. I wonder what's inside. Jax knocked and knocked. Knock, 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 knock and waited and waited. To Kiki, getting to the front door felt like running an obstacle course. I'll be right there. By the time Kiki reached the door, Jax was gone, but he had left her a package. <gasps> A friendship scrapbook, exclaimed Kiki. It filled her heart until she could hardly breathe. So she took a deep breath and ran to Jax's house. So here's his scrapbook. It says Kiki and Jax. There's pictures of them together in costume, on the beach, playing baseball. This sticker says, you're a very good friend. And this one says, 
choose joy. I missed you, Jax, said Kiki. Can we play here? Sure, said Jax. They pulled out their favorite games and costumes. Roar! And looked at their friendship scrapbook together. After they were done playing, Jax put the games and costumes away. I wish we could play at my house too, said Kiki, but there's just no room. Yes, there is, said Jax. Let me show you. There's so much to sort. Jax was excited. Kiki was overwhelmed. Let's play piles. You make piles of similar items, then you can decide what to keep, said Jax. They made a pile for clothes, books, and toys. But how do I decide, said Kiki. It's simple. If it sparks joy in your heart, Jax said, keep it. And if it doesn't, thank it and let it go. Kiki and Jack sorted all of the items into boxes for keeping, donating, recycling, and throwing away. Kiki took her time with each and every item. This sparks so much joy! Jax taught Kiki how to fold her clothes and put them upright in her drawers. Now Kiki could find a place for things that mattered most, like her favorite books, extra bubbly bubble baths, and most important, room for her best friend, Jax. And look how nice everything looks. Everything has a place. And now they have plenty of room to play. The end. Kiki and Jax, the life-changing magic of friendship. Wow, wasn't that a great story? I love the friendship that Kiki and Jax have because they work together so well. Kiki has the gift of appreciating and seeing the value in many different objects and memories from her life. And Jax has the gift of knowing how to sort and organize things. And together they're able to use those two gifts to make one another stronger. I think that's such a beautiful example of a great friendship. Well, I think it's just about time for us to sing our goodbye song. Let's go ahead and get out our peacock puppets again. Now, if you've seen our show before, feel free to sing along. If not, just get your peacock puppet moving and grooving. Here we go. Now it's time to say bye-bye. Let's wave bye-bye. Wave bye-bye. We're so glad you came to play our silly games and sing our songs, sing our songs. Now let's say goodbye like peacocks. Show your pride, show your pride. Shaking all your feathers, shaking all your feathers. Stroll and glide, stroll and glide, stroll and glide. Take a bow, everybody. Stroll and glide. I had so much fun singing, dancing, making crafts, and reading stories with you all today. Thank you so much again for tuning in. I'll see you next time. But in the meantime, if you would like to send a letter to me, we have information on our Facebook page about just how you can do that. And this week, I challenge you to share something that you learned, whether it be about peacocks, about our song from South Africa, perhaps about the life-changing magic of friendship. Tell someone you love and care about, maybe someone in your family, a pet, or even teach your peacock friend. I would love to hear about it. Everyone stay safe, and until next time, take care.